And hey, listen, Berkeley should hear this story. Um, okay. Really, because oh man, let me tell you this story, okay? When I was at Berkeley, I needed um, an extra credit. I needed a credit in order to graduate. Mm. So this was the last semester, and I was planning my, you know, um, my course courses for the last semester. And uh, I was I needed one more credit, and I was in the middle of deciding what course to take, what class to take. Mm. So I think it was conducting. I, I said, "Well, I'll take conducting. That sounds like an easy, an easy course." I'll just take <laughs> conducting and get, get the credit. I'll never conduct. George Munsoor, <laughs> he was one of the conducting George, teachers. Yeah, and it, that's exactly. He wrote, I think he wrote the conducting book, the mm. text. I still have it right here. Anyway, this is, this story is going to blow your mind. Um, so I took the course, did it. We, the final project was uh, Stravinsky. It wasn't the Rite of Spring. It was Madrid, which is a shorter, ridiculous piece. Every other measure is an odd time signature, and it was great. We're, we're conducting it, so it was great. Anyway, um, I finished that, and graduated September fifteenth. Today, I graduated at the end of August, right? The the September, the summer. And two weeks later, I'm in Japan. Okay, fine. You know the rest of the story. I'm here. Well, when I was signed to my the first record company here, um, we did the my my first album for them and it went really well then they got this um movie soundtrack from uh this opportunity to do a movie soundtrack and the producer for this sound this movie heard my first album and he wanted me to to score this movie i don't know what he heard on my first album because there was nothing on that album that had anything to do with what he was doing in this movie but this movie was a big <laughs> major motion picture that got a lot of um mm. uh hi hype because it was it was a a, a book that had won like a, a, the pulitzer prize here it was a thick harry potter suspense thriller of a cool. book that became a big thing in japan so they're gonna do the movie right okay cool. make, a, make a long story short um they wanted me to score the 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 film so what do you want what do you want? I says, well, okay, well, I'm going to do it. I need, it's whatever, whatever I wanted. You know, they had a budget. I could buy this house for the amount of budget that we used. That's great. I want the Tokyo Philharmonic. Mm -hmm. I want horns. I want everything. And I'll score it out. I took scoring at Berkeley. <laughs> One <laughs> class. Mm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not telling you the truth. I, I lied just there. Wait a minute. We recorded the, they, my record company wants to have the CD, the soundtrack on CD. So they're selling their artist with the movie. You know how the tie up goes. You got the Titanic soundtrack on CD with the, with the actual movie. Well, sure. we had to record the soundtrack CD well in advance of the music that actually went into the film. And you know what the reason was? Three months in advance, we got to finish the recording and get the, the song, everything has to be edited and everything because the printer needs two months. <laughs> the printer. We need to rush because of the printer. <laughs> Believe that. Pr pressing the damn CDs has nothing to do with creativity at all. The printing <laughs> company needs it well in advance. Okay. All right. Okay. So we did that. So all this time when there's um, – there's, certain deadlines that I was talking about before that you, you, they want you to meet because as they're planning the music or as I'm coming up with the music, the, the movie's being filmed at the same time. So you're not seeing anything. You just have the script to work with and everything's huh. going on a par parallel track. And that's the way a lot of movies are. The music is being written before there's actually any thing to see. And then they'll get, <laughs> You'll get bits and pieces of the film, which are called, they're called rushes. Right. You've probably heard the word. And that's, they're rushing it to the composer to see what's actually going to be on the film. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, the point being, we had to make the CD quickly. So we recorded most of the parts for the CD first. And 
spent two weeks in the studio and it was very intense and it was fine. We finished, I finished on a Tuesday night, one o'clock in the morning. We're sitting there in, in the, in the mixing room. Oh, it worked out great. Yeah. We got some great music. Oh, now we're going to, the Tokyo Philharmonic is coming on that following Friday to do the, the, the string parts and uh, the orchestral stuff. And all this time, this had been two months of me composing. All this time, I was under the assumption that there was an orchestrator. <laughs> I thought that everything was all scored out and just, I'm going to You didn't ask for Friday an orchestrator. <laughs> they, well, the reason I'm saying this is because sitting there at one o'clock in the morning, I had Wednesday and Thursday off. Now, we've been recording straight for two weeks. Wednesday and Thursday is off, finally. And I'll come in on Friday and do the finish the rest of the album. So anyway, we're sitting there, and they say, well, Tim, so you've got the score almost done? And I'm going, what? I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I was shitting bricks because, <laughs> because, Lauren, there's not one day of leeway that the music can be late. If the music is late by one day, <laughs> everything will get shifted and all the money that they spend on the advertising, the TV, the magazine, the newspapers, the radio, thousands of dollars because the date of the release of the movie can't be met. It's all on my shoulders. And it was a huge pressure that I, that I felt. So anyway, mm -hmm. you, got, you got the score ready to go. And I'm going, oh, I'm shitting bricks. I go, yeah, yeah, it's ready to go. Holy shit. I, I flew back home. On, it takes two hours to drive from Tokyo to my home here. It was, I got home like three in the morning, right? I woke up at like the first thing crack of dawn, went to the local music store, bought some score paper, <laughs> the large score paper. And fortunately, they had it. I couldn't believe it. I was really lucky. I bought the freaking score paper. And Lauren, I wrote. I wrote and wrote. I whipped out my notes from Berkeley. Berkeley, are you listening? I wrote, <laughs> I took my notes, all these handwritten notes, you know, that we had, you know, they had those thin, you know, no soft, they weren't hardcover books or, or they weren't even, they were just paper copies of the, of the, the textbooks right. in, the, in they those They were like days. workbooks, yeah. They were like workbooks. Um, and whipped them out, all my notes, and I just scored away. Wow. Scored away. I had a, my guitar in my hand. I didn't play piano. And I tried to get the voicings using the both hands. And I scored from Wednesday morning until Friday morning. And I didn't sleep. And I was a zombie. The only <laughs> thing was I had, to, I had to score three full pieces for the orchestra, <laughs> not just one, and two for the orchestra and my band because we're going to rehearse two more pieces that go on the album we had to have the, the band, my harp guitar parts. Anyway, all this music had to be done within two days. Oh, my God. So I just scored the hell out of it, and i it's all a blur. The only thing <laughs> was, that was in an apartment, and I was moving to my new house, this house, on the Thursday. <laughs> so I just closed the door, my sliding Japanese doors, you know. I closed the doors, and the movers came. And I just scored away. It was like I was on automatic pilot. Wow. Scored away, scored away. And I would open up the door to go to the men's room or something, or I'd go to grab a bite to eat. There was only a refrigerator and my, my little futon. That was the only <laughs> thing that was left. It was so surreal. And I just would eat something. I might rest an hour or something, and then come back and just score, score, score. Friday morning comes along. I got to be at the studio at one at 11 o'clock and it takes me two hours to drive there. Eight o'clock. I wake up. Oh my God. I forgot to do the two, the two harp guitar pieces that the orchestra is going to play. just scored like crazy. And then I jump in the car <laughs> at nine o'clock and I'm on autopilot. I don't recall driving speeding down the highway two hours to <laughs> Tokyo I have no recollection, but what I do have a rec recollection is I had to get there at 11 o'clock because the 
when I when you write the score, the parts have to be written out mm -hmm. for all the orchestra members. Mm -hmm. Orchestra's coming in at one o'clock, so there's a two hour span between eleven and one. I I bring the score. Actually, I have the score here, and I have to hand it off to these. Uh, there's a company that actually will score out the parts in a mm. short amount of time. They must have a whole bunch of staff. Uh, and it must cost a lot of money, but you give them the score, and they'll they'll write all the parts out. I mean, so I'm about to hand the score off. When I look over a couple of pages, holy shit, there's like two measures, nothing's written here. Two measures, nothing's written over here. Two measures, not four measures. Holy shit! So I jump into the closet with a pencil and I fill them in. You know? <laughs> Now, I'm I'm shitting bricks because this is a major movie, and here it is all on my shoulders, <laughs> and it's all on the back of my mind, Lauren. So anyway, <laughs> I come out of the closet and I hand them the score. It's like this thick, and one o'clock they're going to come back with the parts. Thank you, and good night. Mm -hmm. In that time, in between eleven and one, I have not played the harp guitar. These parts, these complicated parts, we're going to be recording them. After the orchestra, <laughs> I jump. I jump into the into the closet, the <laughs> studio's closet, you know, and I start practicing. Don't let anybody see that I'm practicing. Right? <laughs> anyway, one o'clock comes around. This is where the story get the story gets fun. I hope I hope there are some Berkeley students listening to this. Um, we're sitting there at the control, and this is a, the big SSL board. So there's four of us sitting there. Me, the engineer, his assistant engineer, oh, my my producer for the record company, and the music producer for the film company. We're all sitting in a straight line, looking out <laughs> at the orchestra, and I'm sitting in the middle with the orchestra with the engineer. <laughs> and it's one o'clock, and I'm going, hmm, I don't see the conductor. Where's the conductor? <laughs> and everyone looks at me like. <laughs> That would be you. Holy shit, are you kidding me? What? 